Hello everyone. What we are going to learn today is uh, uh, the little bit of coding and a little bit of uh, uh, sensor networking uh, so that we want to post the sensor data to the server uh, continually. So to do that, uh, let me first guide you uh, some of the way that we do. Um, you have seen this uh, a lot. Um, we have uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, and the sensor, we capture, we install one uh, of the sensor uh, wire to this Raspberry Pi, and we uh, code uh, on this Raspberry Pi and execute it. Therefore, um, the sensor data can be uh, acquired from uh, the sensor device here. And as soon data is acquired, and we post that data to the server. And in, in the server, uh, I already made uh, quite a few PHP files, so that you can use these PHP files to post. And later, uh, another PHP files, we can uh, download the files to our uh, iPhones. The back end database, uh, we have uh, the tables. The table has uh, uh, user information and uh, sensor type and sensor data, uh, sensor data here, and also um, uh, this, this is actually sensor data, and this is the sensor type, and this is the sensor models. Um, while you are doing sense, uh, sending the data, acquiring sensor data, and uh, posting that sensor data to the server, I want to uh, take a photo from, uh, uh, take a photo of that, uh, uh, the Raspberry Pi and sensors, uh, and post it uh, to the server. The first one is by, um, uh, the Python file, uh, Python programs, and, and the second database can be uh, populated by uh, your manual images that I want to uh, show to you. This is one of the data. Um, so, uh, one of the sensors that I uh, chose for this demonstration, so, uh, in another uh, uh, the recordings, you may be, may be able to see other types of sensors. This is a, a specific sensor that I found from uh, my uh, uh, repositories. Um, unfortunately, however, uh, this sensor uh, is not really properly uh, functioning, but basic idea remains the same, technically same, only the sensor is issue. So uh, I uh, want to uh, see how it works together with you. Um, one of the reference of that sensor uh, that you can find it from here, this is the sensor that I uh, want to share with you. Um, it is a three pins out. Uh, this is for ground, this is for the five voltages, the middle legs for five voltages. When you see here uh, negative signs, here S means that is the uh, signals. So the right, the left hand side here, the low side, lower leg uh, on these images, uh, that is the signal. So, so we have to connect this leg to the signals and this leg to uh, the ground, and this is for the five voltages. Um, so, so what I did here, um, we need to import rpi.gpio, and we call that GPIO an import request. Uh, this is uh, something that I want to do with the data uh, times, because um, data that we can capture from you know, time, time data that we can capture from the uh, Raspberry Pi is not really the calendar date that we understand. So we need to convert to that together with this time. And this is the URL that we need to uh, use 
to post to our sensor data. So the file, the PHP uh, program name is sensor to cell db insert sec. Uh, this is a secure uh, PHP. Uh, previously, we used uh, simply uh, any kind of any data that can that we allowed, but uh, because of the security reasons, uh, we want to check. We want to uh, uh, allow only those who are authorized. So you you guys all are authorized. I already uh, set it up only by uh, your name. Uh, your name here, for example, uh, first name and last name. Uh, your name should be the same as the name that uh, that appear on your uh, the blackboard. Okay. Um, so your last name on your blackboard should be here instead of Yun. And John, that is your first name. Um, the first character should be the uppercase. All others uh, remains the lowercase. I think that's what you can see uh, your name uh, from Blackboard. And I do try this, um, although I didn't put uh, there are any uh, exceptions uh, handling here. Uh, you could do that, but I, I skip it. Uh, first, we set up a GPIO board. So we want to follow the board um, mode. Uh, remember that pin uh, number can be uh, labeled uh, two different ways. PCM mode and board mode. Board mode is is only uh, uh, the serial uh, number from top to bottom. Okay. For example, uh, like this. I think you can see this, right? Um, the inner column there, that, that is the bo board uh, numbers. So upper here, uh, the voltages and ground, uh, basically. Uh, you need to refer to that. And then pin signals, I uh, chose uh, number seven. So, so signal, this leg, here, this leg should be connected to uh, the pin number seven on the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. And we want to read some data from that uh, uh, pin signals. And uh, inside of this try uh, block, we have a while um, loops. So we want to loop this. So we take uh, the time and uh, my name and sensor uh, type is keys KY039, uh, sensor type is heartbeat. Uh, this uh, takes the heartbeats, uh, so it counts. So, uh, like we have to count uh, for one minute. So for one minute, how many times our beats, uh, our hearts can uh, uh, beat, that is counted. So basically when we, uh, put uh, our fingertip here, uh, during this short time period, uh, it gives us always one, right, one bit. Uh, but we count uh, usually uh, how many bits per minute. So we have to wait uh, minutes, uh, but we don't do that here. Uh, we simply see uh, that number uh, is, is acquired. This is some of the uh, time change. Um, so we have here my data from that uh, pin signals inputs. So initially we got one and this will uh, continue. Okay. And then finally, uh, here, um, collect all of this data and we construct um, a dictionary format in Python. So F name, that is the key. And the value is F name from here, and last last name also. Sensor, uh, we got that from sense here. That is a, a sensor models, and this is type of sensor. That is a D type. That is heartbeats, and timestamps, and finally sensor data. This is uh, 
the sensor data collected from sensor device formed in a dictionary. So that dictionary forms uh, needs to be uh, posted. So data equals data, URL equals sensor DB, which is the URL that you can see here. So this request.post, this function, send out the data to this URL with this data. And, and here I want to see if that is uh, really uh, sent out. Okay. Oh, we'll do, uh, demonstrate this. And once you, you uh, upload it, then we can see whether it is uh, properly uploaded. It. So we uh, want to see this. This is uh, the URL and ID equals uh, your last name and percent uh, F name. First name is your uh, first name. Then you can see the data that, that you posted. And then for images, um, I made this HTML files so that you can put your first name and last name. As I said, for security reasons, your first name and last name should be the same as your uh, Blackboard names. And then you can choose your uh, images. I wanted to take your uh, images from uh, your phone, phone image, and send your phone image to your uh, laptop. And, and, and that uh, particular uh, folder of that uh, laptop you click this and choose that image and post it. And then also you can see uh, the your image posting uh, status by clicking this. Okay, this is another PHP files, but here also your ID and your your ID is your last name and your uh, file name is I mean first name is your uh, first name. Then you can see yours. Yeah, this is it. So I'm going to give you the demo. All right. Um, first, I want to show it to you. Hopefully that you can see this properly. Um, this is, by the way, um, the the heartbeat uh, sensor device that you can see. Uh, let me see. This one has um, uh, three legs, right? That you can see here. Three legs. And then uh, this is a uh, negative on on the further side and then uh, uh, the near side to me that is the signals so here on your Raspberry Pi the pins I use these two pins uh, this is for the voltage five voltages and then uh, the ground that I used and then my signals comes from here, these lines, number seven, uh, from the inside of the pin. Uh, I think that is the fourth from the top, from the top, that is number seven, right? But you can see, I'm not sure how you can see it. So this is um, five voltages, it's ground. And if you wanna see a little bit, Then this is, this one is uh, the signals. And I want to uh, put my fingers, touch here, so that you can see me. Basically, yeah, I can see like this, so that you can take the bits from me. But I need to uh, first to um, connect my the Raspberry Pi. In the application, I have a VNC, VNC viewer. And last time that we 
install this, right? This is, uh, this is the connections. So I click this. What's this unknown? One eighty seven. Okay, then I want to check. IP address. One ninety two, one sixty eight, sixty eight, thirteen. This may not be the ones that I look for. How can it? How come it is changed? Okay, I'll change this too. One ninety two dot. Six eight dot one thirty seven. Six eight dot one thirty seven. I think this is it. so it's okay. All right. Very nice. This is the one that I just to check, right? 192.168.68.134 and the program uh, stored the sensor so I have one program there so I want to run that python hosting api and then I touched my finger so continually checked, right? I want to stop it. Control C. As you see, some of the data here. This is the data. Connected successfully, and John. This is the data types. This is the time. Wednesday, February 21, 2024. Uh, sensor data is a one bit, can be found. Um, yeah, uh, this is done. And then I want to also take a photo of my uh, ones like this. Okay with uh, that uh, and also a couple of images that I want to so on my cell phone I uh, saved it and I want to uh, send this to to me so that I can save this. I don't need to send the big data. I want to send the small data. And another one also. Send it to me. Small size. So I sent that. I want to leave my uh, uh, Raspberry Pi here. What I want to do I want to bring my 
web browser. Remember, this is when I submit, I want you to look at, at this, this many things uh, that I tested already. Uh, after this, I posted more. So we will have more than this. So when I, I want to put my cursor here, that is the end of uh, uh, my current data. So when I hit enter, I hit enter here, then I have more, right? More data posted. And now I want to, I want to save my data. Okay, I have data here. So I want to save this. I think this, this is saved. And I want to do this again. So come back here, uh, download. I have two images loaded. What I want to do here, I want to put my name properly and choose files. Download. I want to choose these two files together. So two files chosen and I want to upload. Click this button. It says uh, successfully uploaded. Once I upload, then I want to bring my... Here. If you want to check your images so that I can copy and paste here. I'm okay because um, this is my last name, this is my first name, uh, I mean, last name and first name, right? So if I hit enter, those are all uh, previously uh, posted. This is thing that I posted just right now, right? You see here, if you can see, actually this is uh, my brand new uh, Raspberry Pi, right? This is uh, this is uh, that uh, small uh, monitor. This is my laptop monitor. Uh, they are now sharing uh, uh, the uh, the terminals, right? That you can see. So if I click this, that may not work. This may not work, but anyway, this is that one, so right? So in this way that you can. Uh, uh, post your images and also uh, your data, all of your data. All right. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, and also, based upon this, uh, your homework is this. Yeah, your homework is two things. You have to post to your uh, sensor data to the server and also your uh, the the photos that 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 can show uh, your uh, Raspberry Pi and, and sensor somehow, some of the evidence, all right? This is it. See you later.